Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ramrod Rants. Took a little vacation. Uh, ended up going to New Orleans um, for a family reunion on my wife's side. Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, let's get some bills paid first. This is Ramrod Rants. You can reach me at R A M R A N T S 333 at gmail.com. That, that, again, it's R A M R O D R A N T S 333 at gmail.com. And we are brought to you by Shigodin, website designer, um, buyer for uh, a lot of different stores. And Mama, how you cook this? Designs kitchens, designs meals uh, specific to the need of the person. Um, and rave reviews, actually, from. Um, a lot of people have tried Mama How You Cook This, and it's been rave reviews. Okay, I'm back. Uh, we went down to New Orleans, you know, for a family reunion. It was, it was actually pretty cool. Um, a lot of people drove. They came from all over the country. Um, we flew. Now, from where I live down to New Orleans, it was a hour and 40-minute flight. Now, my daughter... Drove with her aunt to help her drive from the area we live in, and it was a 14-hour drive. So, uh, driving 14 hours, and we flew for an hour and 40 minutes. That that was just wild. I'm gonna tell you, we had to fly through the airport with uh, my son. He's 19, so I mean, he was no problem. We had an 11-year-old and a one and a half-year-old with us, and. If you've ever been to the airport with a one and a half year old, that was a dilemma in itself. That little boy was all over the place. And for some reason, he's fascinated with wheels. You know, like if somebody come by on a stroller or a, a luggage uh, carrier and the wheels are big, he's running after them. We have to catch him. But he's fascinated with wheels. I wonder. I have to look that up. He's he's fascinated with wheels. I mean, and and not to mention, this little girl walked past him with a suitcase on wheels that lit up. He lost his mind. He was he followed that girl to. We had to go grab him, and I had to have my wife come with me to grab him because if they see me running up behind this little girl, you know, I'm a big dude. You know, I, I don't put nothing to chance. But it was pretty good. We got down there. We stayed in a, an amazing hotel. Um, and it, I guess they only had like 4.2 stars on the internet. But, you know, I don't, honestly, I don't go by reviews on the internet for, for a lot of things. Um, but I'm going to see how I stay. Like when I went to uh, Punta Cana, I went to Punta Cana uh, last year with my brothers. And the same hotel we stayed in, the same one. Uh, it was three stars, three and a half stars. Um, the reviews were the service was bad. You know, people are rude. Uh, the food was horrible. Um, it was not a lot of choices of food. Um, the, the drink selection was off. They didn't have any top shelf liquor. Uh, you know, it was just basic. You know, not enough swimming pools. The walk up to the beach, it wasn't enough chairs out there. Okay. Okay, that's what we read before we got down there. Now, when we got down there, um, because my brothers are the same way, we judge for ourselves. When we got down there, the service was excellent. Liquor choice, beyond belief. Now, I know Punta Cana and Dominican Republic is having some trouble right now gaining back their tourists, uh, but when we were down there, uh, None of this was going on, hopefully, but none of us got sick, thank God. Uh, liquor selection was amazing. Now, remember, I'm a bartender, so I'm pretty much in taste of everything, so I know what I like. Uh, liquor selection was amazing. They had at least 15 restaurants in this hotel that you can pick from. From food from the Orient, Middle East, Italy, Africa, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, United States, anything that your palate desired, they had it. 
Why these people couldn't find nothing palatable to them was beyond me. Because I'm going to tell you, I like all kinds of food. And I've eaten pretty much all kinds of food. Everything. My favorite appetizer is calamari. Has to be. Hands down. Calamari. They had a calamari appetizer at this Italian restaurant inside the resort in Punta Cana. It was about as big, you know those uh, real big onion rings you see at these uh, sports bars? About like that. Each one was about like this. This is like about as big as, you guys just listen on SoundCloud. It's about as big as a large peanut butter jar top. Let's put it that way. That was probably um, the best calamari appetizer I've ever had in my life. That's how bad it is. That, that's how good it was. It, I mean, it was great. Alcohol, great. They, uh, My brother was celebrating his 50th birthday down there. And they brought champagne to the table. They, It was just amazing. Going to the rooms. The rooms, is it wasn't a typical hotel. Now... The restaurants are in a part of the hotel that's separate from the living quarters. You walk outside the hotel and you have all of these hotel rooms out there. You go to your private room. The room was just amazing. Um, they had alcohol in the room. And obviously, if all you guys uh, know right now, because they was having problems with alcohol in the room in Punta Cana. But this hotel wasn't mentioned that I stayed, uh, where I stayed, I mean. It wasn't mentioned. Uh, you press a button on the wall, the cabinet comes out, alcohol. Open up the refrigerator, beer, wine, everything. And I'm not saying this because I'm an alcoholic and ooh, 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 they had alcohol. No, but they set it out for you. They set it out for you. And and it was they did a good job. I'm just saying this to say reviews don't mean a damn thing to me until I go uh, see it for myself. Moving forward to New Orleans. Same thing um, with this hotel. We had some bad reviews before we got there. Hotel was great. I mean, the hotel was great. They were very personable. And I'm going to tell you about the South. The South, those people are very personable. I mean, you got some idiots and asses everywhere. But very personable. Um, the, the, the receptionists, the uh, managers, everybody. Now, imagine, you, we had a huge family down there. We booked a lot of rooms. And... The uh, lobby was a bunch of chairs, TVs, and stuff like this. And uh, we were going to go use a hall to um, have dinner the second night. Um, and they told us no. They said, just use our lobby. They said, we're blocking off. You guys can just use the whole lobby. And, and we did. We used the entire lobby. No questions asked. Nothing. Just, only thing they said is uh, no loud music. That's it. That's what they said. Um, you can drink. You can't smoke. I, I'm glad you can't smoke. You can drink, eat. I mean, you, we play games. We play. I've, I've, my sons. I have um, uh, my daughter, um, two daughters down there, and three sons. Two of the sons came from Texas. Now, uh, they all uh, thirty plus. And my youngest son is 19. My other son couldn't make it. He had to work. But I got a son named Taj. He made us play this game called Drunk Jenga. Okay. You knock it over, you take four shots. Okay. I'm not taking no four shots because I'm old. I'm not young anymore. So I said, okay, if we knock it over, I take one shot. Or drink half a beer. Okay, I do that. But it was actually pretty good. It was fun. And, you know, it, it, it was hilarious. It, we just had a ball. Went down to the French Quarter. Now, you got to go down to Bourbon Street. You got to go down to the French Quarter. You know, everybody knows New Orleans for food. Everybody know New Orleans for everything else. But uh, the whole family went down. We had a ball. I mean, the whole trip was amazing. I explained it on different episode, but the whole trip was pretty much amazing. Uh, we went to Cafe Du Monde. We went to a bunch of bars, actually, me and my sons. And my son-in-law um, 
we went to a, a bunch of bars. We left the women behind and um, we just went walking around exploring. I mean, I've been there before because my brother stays down there. Uh, but it was just fun going down there with, with your family and doing things. And what, what was really funny is uh, New Orleans is separated by... Uh, you, you can tell what part of... Uh, of the French Quarter you're in by rainbow flags hanging off the building. So uh, my son Taj and Tark, they uh, and uh, my uh, son-in-law, we all said we was gonna stop for a drink at this bar. And I looked up, and now you gotta remember, my sons are very uh, male. This man, this you know. Everything and um, they are, they're the king, uh, their wives are the queens, uh, their children are the prince or princes. They, they, they are very family oriented and they are very straight laced and straightforward. Okay, um, they, they don't uh, judge anyone, uh, but you know, everybody got that little bit in them that uh, they don't know that they got in them, but anyway. Went to this bar and um, went in and uh, it was like five guys in there and they was like real nice and everything and they said, hey, what's going on? You know, where you from? They's real nice. I mean, like, and like I said, Southern hospitality. Um, so we ordered four Long Island iced teas. So they was making Long Island iced teas and uh, we drank some and it was that, that iced tea was amazing. In fact, I asked for his recipe because that wasn't a typical recipe. And uh, he told me, as long as I don't tell nobody what the recipe is, uh, I can, um, he'll give it to me. And uh, he gave it to me and I'm going to use it because I'm, bar I'm bartending tomorrow and I'm going to use that recipe tomorrow. But uh, the funny part is, is that uh, my sons was like, wow, man, not even in, because they're living in Houston. They said, man, the iced tea in Houston is not even this good. And so, uh, the oldest said, my man, and put out his fist for some dab, give me some. And that was cool. You know, that was, that was my, you know, my son, you know, acknowledging that this cat, you know, put his foot in that iced tea. So we went outside and we started walking along the street with our drinks, you know, because our, our game was we going to drink at every bar we walk past. You know, I'm trying to hang with the young bucks. And it was fun. Um... I told my sons, I said, hey, uh, y'all do know there was a gay bar, right? And my son said, what? No, it wasn't. Them guys are cool. I said, no, there was a gay bar. And you know, I said, nope, the rainbow flags up there. And, and uh, they said, oh, man, he said, they got some good drinks. We got to go back. I said, yeah, we got to go back. And I said, but the only thing is, you not knowing it's a gay bar, I said, when, when, you, when you told the cat before you left out, my man, give me some. And I just, I just, I said, I, he know you didn't mean nothing. And I know, and you know you didn't mean nothing. I said, but it struck me so funny, you know. And then he thought about it. He said, damn, I didn't say that, didn't I? <laughs> they gave us a good laugh. I mean, my, my boys are good, good sports about it. They, they don't hate nobody. They love everybody. And they believe in treating everybody as equals. But it was just funny to me. And it's just my old man humor that, um, I took down there with me, and uh, it, I think I gotta tell you, spending time with family is is amazing. My wife was down there too, and we spent a lot of time together. But I, I mean, we had fun. Me and my wife had fun down there. It's just the stuff that other people were doing because we around our family a lot, not around our extended family. Her uncle is from Alabama, right outside of Mobile, I believe. He brought me. Uh, a bottle of Alabama moonshine. Okay, now half a gallon Alabama moonshine. I I like moonshine, but I don't like the afterburn. I don't like uh, stuff like that. But I do drink moonshine sometimes. Uh, but oh yeah, look at my eyes. They white. I'm I'm not no drunk, but I do drink Alabama moonshine. I do I do drink moonshine sometimes. So you probably. Me, he said, he said, Ramrod, he said, I thought about you when I saw this down there and um, told the guy to pour me up a half a gallon. And I was going to bring it for you on this trip. And I said, well, 
thank you. I said, that is really nice. Now, mind you, the room covered with alcohol. Had all kind of alcohol in that room. And this is my son's room. He the one that arranged the trip. He did everything. He did it down to the last detail. Detail, I mean, every minutia point of that trip, he planned. Okay. So he brought the moonshine in, and we all had a little sip. And, um, oh, my God, it was so good. It tastes like French toast. No burn, no nothing. It tasted like French toast. And nobody believed me. And my son said, no, it do taste like French toast. My other son French toast. So everybody's in the room. So my uncles never went out because they had just driven in, so they were tired. And uh, my uncle that uh, flew in from California was tired, so they all said, it was like 10.30 at night, they said, we're going to go and lay down for a little while. We get up in a few hours, but you know they were going to get up until the next morning. So we stayed in that room and drank that entire bottle. That's, that's how good it was. We didn't touch no other alcohol. And my daughter, she's expecting, you know, her and her husband just got married. She's expecting. So uh, she said, what does it taste like? I said, French toast. She said, can I smell it? We said, no. She was mad. We wouldn't let her smell it. We said, no, you pregnant. You can't smell it. You know, she got, that, that was hilarious. She was mad the rest of the night because we wouldn't let her smell that moonshine. So the next morning, uh, uncle came down. We was all down eating breakfast. And after we ate breakfast, we were sitting there waiting because we was going to wait till about maybe 11 to go down to the French Quarter. And uh, he said, Rodney, uh, why don't we go to, uh, to the room and we all get together and uh, put a dent in that shine? I said, uh, I got some good news and I got some bad news. He said, wait a minute, y'all didn't drink up that whole bottle. I said, we drank that a whole Damn bottle. Said it was that good. I mean, it was amazing. That, that, that moonshine was amazing. And I kind of hate we drank it up the first night because the next night we wanted some. And I know there's places in New Orleans where they make shine, but we wanted some more of that. So we're going to go down to Alabama soon so he can take me to the spot and so I can get some more. Now, you can bring, uh, you can pack two bottles uh, in your bags, but I wouldn't trust it. So I would have to drive down there and just put it in my trunk. I'm not sure of the legality behind it, though. Can I transport Shan in my trunk back up this area from Alabama? Hmm. Something to look into later. Anyway, um... We went down to the quarter, took a bunch of pictures, went to all the, the hot spots and everything. And just, you know, we really had a good time. That's that's what I was doing for the last, you know, week or so. Just chilling, relaxing, job is stressful. Um, just sit back and, and, and just enjoy it myself. We got a zillion pictures, which, you know, I won't post. If Well, actually, they are posted. If you, if you uh, go to, if you guys know uh, my... Um, other sites, my social media sites, a lot of them are posted on there. You get to see my family and everything. Um, but if you if you want to see a pic, let me know. I put them up on Ram Rod Rants three 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 at gmail dot com. And uh, I came, we came back home. We were tired, but you know it's kind of nice to be home. But it was a great reunion, and um, I think we decided to have one like every other year instead of every year. Um, just to, you know, get together because right now reunions are really not the end thing for a lot of families because a lot of families are feuding and bickering in between uh, between themselves and that shouldn't be. You get to know, you got to know your extended family. You have to. And uh, I, I thank my uh, my son, uh, Tarek, for setting it up because it was just amazing. Everybody that had a ball. It, it, it was just great. And I loved every second of it. I loved every second of it. So, shouts out to my boys, to my family. Thanks for a nice trip. I had a ball. And the secrets of New Orleans, I'm not going to mention, so they stay in New Orleans. Okay? Like, thank y'all for joining me. Ram Rod Rats. Remember, you can reach me at Ram Rod Rats, 333 at gmail.com. And I can thank my sponsors. She golden. And mama, how you cook this? Thanks a lot. See you next time.